So your manager David Chadwick following the 4-0 uh, defeat at home against Radcliffe. Uh, Chaddy, 4-0 again seems a bit hard to take really, but what, what's your assessment of the game overall? <sighs> Mixed emotions, I'll be honest, uh, Zach. You, you play through the game, I know it's only just happened, hasn't it? So you're trying to go through the game, but um, it, again, it was never a 4-0 game. I, I think naivety cost us a hell of a lot. Obviously, the first goal was an own goal. Very unlucky for Nico to bounce off him like he did. But you've got to get on with it, which they did do. Um, and then on the hour that both the referee killed us with an awful penalty decision. Now, whether it's a penalty or not, he's give it. So, you know, naivety then. We, we've, our heads have gone down for 20 minutes and that's where they've shown how good they are, where they've boxed us off the park for 20 minutes. Um, and then you could see, yeah, we come back into it. But they, they took a foot off the gas for the last 20 after after that. Um, so, but we obviously we kept going, we kept playing on the ball, but... It's just frustrating the amount of effort the lads put in and then you get undone by a, a, an awful decision for me. And I try, I try my best not to be negative against the officials, but there's been so many this season already, some things that they, they tell us and the decisions they make. I, I, I don't understand what they're watching. I really don't. Mm -hmm. But for a team in that heat to put a performance in for an hour, matching the best team in the league, it, it, it's great. But then all the work gets undone by someone's... Is it bad positioning? Is it lazy? I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's just frustrating. Then, but then, young lads, they're ready to go down with it. So, and that's what happened. And that's where they've got to stop. And that's what I've said to the lads. You know, four nil. No, you don't deserve that. You know, they started cutting us open after that. But that's because the heads went down. So I've got to take on the first hour with the, with the positives and go. Do you know what? We held them at bay. Do you know, we didn't create loads ourselves. By the way, we cut them open a few times without really damaging them. Uh, we didn't we didn't have a shot on target, but you know they were getting in the right areas and they were deflecting them wide. And but they're a good side, do you know. I, if if they'd finished two 0 I'd have gone. Do you know what? Well done, lads. Referee still killed us, but we let ourselves down with the way we we just fell apart for that twenty minutes off, off the penalty. Yeah, and and you know you, you mentioned how how good the team Radcliffe the and, and there's no beating around the bush. They are a good team. So sort of going in at half time one 0 It was a good contest that that that. How we were in the game, wasn't it? Yeah. So you must have been proud again, considering the journey you've come on with this squad. Oh, I was, I was. I, 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 you look at their team; it's, it's got great players all over it. So you think, do you know what? We, we've just matched them in a way for a good hour, and but then we've, we've still got a lot to learn because when things don't go your way, you can't just off and puff and and let your heads go down. You've got to go to that next level, and it happens with a lot of young lads, do you know. Uh, but you know, I applaud the first hour. You know, they, they did really well. Uh, we, we saw today a few familiar names back on the team sheet, you know, yeah. Ethan Keynes, your Jordan Boones and stuff like that. It's been a tough few weeks with injuries, the spine of the team gone. How good was it to have those options again? It was brilliant, it was brilliant. Obviously, Jordan's been out, uh, Booney, for the last two with his ankle uh, from Baseford. Uh, he's, a, he's a massive loss to us. Uh, Nathan Kane, he, he, we lost all the width on one side um, and I just wanted him to get through some time today. Obviously, helping the lads out with the heat as well. And even Lewis Coulton, who's not played much football, he's had, he's had a good pre-season. He's played the first couple, but then he hasn't played in three or four weeks. And you could see he was getting tired on that side, but what a shift he put in, mm. what, what a player he is. Uh, look, looking ahead then to, to upcoming games, uh, we've got again a bit of a break from the league really with Ashton United away, a sort of break. Obviously we know Ashton United well uh, in, in the FA Cup. What, what are you looking for in that game? <laughs> Win, <laughs> obviously. Uh, but no, just... Just the, the same as the first hour anyway. It sounds daft, doesn't it, when, when you, you've you just been beat 4-0. But if they, if we play like we did today, next week, then, then they're in for a really hard game. Brilliant. Cheers, Charlie. Cheers, mate.